Hi everyone. Here is the original problem. 2 log x plus 3 log y minus log x. So the first thing you need to do is you need to uh, convert the 2 log x to uh, x squared. So it's log x squared. So that number becomes the exponent. Same thing for 3 log y. It becomes log y to the third, where that 3 becomes the exponent. Okay, so now you have um, the numbers are in the front are no longer there. They're exponents now. See, here's log x squared plus log y to the third minus log y. The product rule um, states that when you add those, um, they get multiplied together. So the first one, x squared and y squared, get multiplied together. And when you subtract, that's the quotient rule, which is uh, divided by. And so when you subtract the log x, that one goes into division. So that's a, because of the minus log x. So you have that x in the denominator. And the one of these cancels with this one. It becomes 1, which is what I mean by canceling. And that leaves that x here, where there's only one of them, and you don't put the 1. So it's x y to the third because um, nothing happened to the third. Um, so the answer is log x y to the third. Okay, in the next problem, we have the z. So log z will be multiplied by log t minus 2. So here, here's plus, that's where this plus log t minus 2 comes in. And you'll notice that in the denominator was a 3. And so that is why this is minus log 3 because of this being in the denominator right here. And that's where neg uh, minus log 3 comes in. So log z times log t minus 2 plus log t minus 2 minus log 3. And then for the third problem, we have uh, the natural logarithm. The natural logarithm is ln. And to convert that, um, what we're going to do is we're just going to put the y here in the numerator. And we're going to put the base. The base is usually a, a subscript, which means it goes down a bit. That's the base. Base 2 goes in the denominator. So the number, or whatever's here, letter, number, that goes in the numerator. And the base, 2, goes in the denominator. So the answer is L. Logarith natu natural logarithm of y over natural logarithm of 2. Hope this helps.